All right, welcome back. Welcome back. Holy shit, today was a shocker today. I had no idea I'd be streaming a brand new Castlevania game for you guys tonight. And I don't think anybody knew. <laughs> this collection flew so under the radar that I didn't hear a thing about it. And I've, I've been saying it for years, man. I wish I could stream my DS and my 3DS games, but finally I can stream these three amazing Castlevania games for you guys. But there's a secret. There's a secret game that I want to discuss. We'll get back to that. What's up, Celestial Man? You're just in time. Dude, I got a really cool game to discuss with you guys, man. Holy shit, was I shocked. I can't wait to play it. I'm gonna get this rolling. Let's, uh, do it up. <laughs> okay. So earlier in the night, around 7 o'clock, I did the Xenomorph campaign for Alien vs. Predator. I tried it last night through my Elgato, and for some reason I couldn't get any game audio to come through through my Series X, so I streamed it directly through my Xbox, and I did that. Um, I'll be working on more uh, Aliens Dark Descent throughout my work week. I gotta go back today. Uh, I'll be off Sunday and Monday, and then I work Tuesday, and then it'll be my week off again. So, And I will be getting uh, that Warhammer 40k game early. So if you're interested, let me know, dude. It is a co-op game. I think Iowa is getting it. Bubba's definitely getting it. I already am getting it. But if you're on the fence, dude, just wait and uh, I'll stream it for you. Thank you for the follow. Now I gotta ask, is this, uh... The person I was just talking to about Doom? <laughs> I'm not gonna throw out any names. Yes, okay, cool, awesome. Yeah, cool. Uh, I'll show you some of my stuff, but like I said, I'll give you the 
the Doom treatment before we even start this because I I'm a huge Castlevania fan and we got some huge big 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 Castlevania news today and uh, I'm excited dude I feel like a, a kid on Christmas fucking morning dude <laughs> for real but it's really nice to meet you if you want to see that Doom painting uh like in person not in person but on camera I'd be happy to show you it's the first Doom oil painting I've ever done actually but uh, yeah, we'll get back to the Castlevania. I said I'd give you the proper doom treatment and I meant it. <laughs> but yeah, your stuff is awesome. So you make uh, perler art beads. And like I said, if you don't know, if you don't know who Firebrand is, he's one of my favorite video game characters. And uh, I would love to get one of him for the side of my TV. Let me show you around here quick and then I'll go grab some stuff for you. I've got Doom stuff all throughout here, if you look. Um, yeah, there's the dude. Um, I got the, the tapestry. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, uh, what else? Oh, I got this classic Doom coin. This is, I don't know how old this is, but it's, I've had it for a while. I gotta get some music on this, too quiet. But yeah, I'm doing a Castlevania kick tonight, but before people start rolling in, I'm going to give you that Doom treatment like I promised for sure. I got the Doom light-up box that plays the music right here. Yeah, dude. This is an oil painting of Earthworm Jim that just fell. That goes up here. I'm going to have to put him back up. But yeah, I got I got Doom stuff all throughout here. Look, if you look, there's uh, two different Doom Marines hiding back there. Um, I've got the Cackle Demon piggy bank. I think you had it too. Yeah, he's right there. I got all kinds of Doom stuff, man. But I'm not gonna grab all of it, just some of it. Every time I start doing show and tell down here, it gets messy fast. So. But no, for real, it's nice to meet you, and uh, it's just a really chill spot for older gamers like myself to hang out. I, I stream late at night, obviously, so hopefully not a lot of kids show up. This is not a kid-friendly stream whatsoever, <laughs> even though I have I do have two kids of my own. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, here we go. This is for you. All right, I'm gonna let you pick. Do you want the original Doom or 2016 Doom? I also have Doom 2 on vinyl, but I'm gonna put this one on for you. Original, she says. All right, yeah, you got it. This is definitely not the original music though, but that's okay. <laughs> it's a bummer that we're never gonna get Doom Eternal on vinyl, you know? That's a, a bummer. And then I'll go grab my oil painting. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, thank you. 
Um, the camera doesn't really do it justice, N neither do the photos, but you get the idea. It needs a frame. I would love to try to get them for, uh, signed though, for real. But yeah, I've got the, uh, the 2016 helmet over here too. Yeah, welcome to the game dungeon. Let me know what you think. It's just all things video games down here. There's Dead Space. I don't know if you play Dead Space, but I love it. So I've got the Dead Space helmet back there behind the painting. Uh, what else? I suppose I could show you with the lights on, right? Yeah, yeah, I knew, I knew that. I'm trying to get a hold of Romero, though. Like, I don't really go on Twitter much, so, I mean, if you got... If you can get a hold of them for me, that would be awesome because I don't even know how to do it. Like, I try to email their, they have a thing where you can send in stuff to get signed, and I, I already put it in. But if you have better access to it and you can help, that would be awesome. You know, my intention is not to sell it, but just to keep it as part of art history. That's one of the most uh, influential video games of all time, man. The original Doom. You know that. Turn it up a little bit. Anyway, I'm gonna go put this back in this plastic. It's still a little wet. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, if you can get the word out for me, that'd be awesome. I don't know even where I would have them sign it, but anywhere, really. It's a uh, 18 by 24 inch, and I would have to send it to them, obviously. But here's hoping, man, you know? <laughs> I didn't hear nothing back, so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. cool that would be awesome yeah any help and I would take it like I don't want to be a pest or anything I know everybody's busy you know I got time but yeah definitely cool artwork I got to look at more of it soon um, I've got a lot of different video game artwork down here that I know you would appreciate uh, including some pixel art grab a couple uh, examples yeah, there's more up there zombies at my neighbors blaster master here's Mega Man double sided Anyway, uh, we're going to stay on task here after you listen to some Doom. I have awesome Castlevania news for everybody. And like I said, I'm a huge Castlevania fan. I love Doom. I love Castlevania. I, li I like a lot of different games. As long as there's monsters and gore involved, sign me up.
I would love to play more of that Doom uh, remastered co-op with a bunch of people soon. So if you're interested, let me know, Casper. What do you uh, What do you game on? PC? What? PlayStation? Xbox? PC? Okay, yeah, we get it's cross-platform, so. All right, Celestial, are you still with me? Are you in here? Did you check out that Doom 2 with ray tracing yet? It looks really, really cool. I love the way that, that it looks. Nice. Yeah, I've got a lot of consoles down here. All the Nintendos, Xboxes, and Playstations, and Segas. <clears throat> and Neo Geo, 3DO, a lot of handhelds, and a lot of video game soundtracks on vinyl. I have the original Doom 2 on vinyl if you prefer to hear that. I still got my original Doom 2 uh, strategy guide too, it's pretty old, but I'm older. <laughs> I got a lot of vinyls. What other games do you like? Obviously you like Doom. What are some of your other favorites? If you ever want an oil painting, hit me up. It can be uh, custom, it can be whatever. It doesn't have to be a video game either, it can be a portrait. Uh, I'll have to show you more of my work, but honestly, if you just look up uh, what I gave you and go under pictures, but most of that's all video game related. Not everything I do is video game related, but most of it is. Oh, you're definitely in the right room, Gizmo. Yep. Let me turn up the AC a little bit more and uh, put some uh, drink on my nipples and we'll get there. Yeah, um, I'll have to show you what I have in mind. So there's a game called uh, Demon's Crest for Super Nintendo. You play as a little, like, demon. And you can cling onto the side of buildings. And I want him made out of... There's two things that I want. One's going to be very pricey, but I'm, I'm willing to pay but uh, uh, instead of just blabbering about it, I'll just show you pictures of exactly what I want. <laughs> How about that? But anyway, back on target. I just did a, a special uh, doom for the new follower because she's awesome. Uh, she's uh, admin on some doom artwork. And doom is such a great series. What's up, Mr. Anderson? Dude, I don't know if you guys could hear me earlier in the Aliens game, but I, yeah, I was saying hi. <laughs> uh, I, end up, I did end up finishing it. It's really not even that long of a campaign. But, dude, that Alien Romulus popcorn bucket is sick. But uh, I got to ask your advice, dude. Do you, think, do you think that thing would be safe to put water in it? Or do you think it would ruin it? Yeah, I have a really chintzy Xbox headset. Um... So this is like, I'll show you. Big difference. <laughs> A big difference. So this is my Xbox uh, headphones that were like 20 to $30, 20th anniversary. These are what I was wearing, and this is why you couldn't hear me. Versus like a $300 pair Steel Series for the PS5. You think it would ruin it? Okay. 
I'm sure you could seal it or actually put, that would make more sense, put a glass canister in the middle and fill that with water instead. It would still work. If you can find just a clear vase or boss. Yeah, so we got to have a serious talk, you guys. Like, usually I'm up to date on all the games and all the releases and everything. Dude, this news earlier yesterday flew under everybody's radar. I mean, literally everybody. Nobody was talking about this shit. So earlier yesterday, they didn't announce shit. They dropped it. You can go out and buy it right now. Um, Castlevania Konami is actually getting the ball rolling again. They have some good stuff coming. They just released all three Castlevanias for the DS on consoles. And I've always wanted to stream these games for you guys. I've been preaching that for years. I'm like, man, I wish I could fucking stream these DS games, but I couldn't. And not only that, but there's a secret game that no one's talking about, man. So you know how much I like Castlevania, right? And you know I like arcades. Now, the original Castlevania arcade is called Haunted Castle. That arcade is so hard that I wouldn't even want to own it, dude. Not even, like, as a piece of history. But they remade it, and it's in that collection, and nobody's talking about it. And it reminds me of Castlevania Rebirth, uh, Adventures Rebirth. So that's the first game I'm going to play tonight, is they remade the original Castlevania arcade. I'm not talking about the NES ones. I'm not talking about the Japanese ones. I'm talking about the arcade arcade. Haunted Castle. Like, I'll, I could show you the beginning of the original, just how hard and difficult it is. It depends on which version you play. But uh, it's very unforgiving. But, uh, yeah, people need to know about this game, that they tucked it in. There's four games in there, not three, four. And you can get it on Xbox, PC, Switch, and PlayStation. I, bought, I went on Switch because I have all the other Castlevania collections on there, so... Yeah, I'm excited, dude. I'm really excited to stream these games for you. Um, I still have all my saved games on my 3DS for these. And honestly, my favorite two are uh, Portrait of Ruin and this Order of Asclasia. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. But this is definitely the hardest of the bunch, and I still have the guide for it. And I actually used this. You'll see. Yeah, no, they, they, they've updated some stuff, and you can do quick saves, and you can change the formation. I'm not sure how the touchpad stuff works yet. We'll find out. Because in, uh, in this one here, after you defeat a boss, you're supposed to draw a sigil on the screen with your finger or with the stylus to seal the boss. So I don't know what they changed about that. But yeah, we're just going to listen to some Castlevania, and we're going to jump right into it, you guys. Alright, uh, let's do side S, look at this. Oh, it looks so much cooler in person, dude, this vinyl. I think it's too bright. But how was everybody? This is my last night off, by the way, unfortunately. Um, for once, I'm not doing anything Xenomorph related <laughs> tonight. I was on a Xenomorph bender there for a little while. <laughs> I do love that Alien's uh, Dark Descent, man. It grew on me. Uh, at first, I was not a fan. And I'm going to feel the same way about Baldur's Gate 3. I'm going to be over my head. Don't know shit, how to do shit, but the more you play it, the more you'll like it. That's the case with almost any good game, right? If you're on the fence, you just gotta learn it and not leave it. If you leave it, then you forget it. I was thinking about filling up this whole table with Castlevania, but I'm not going to make a mess right before I go back to work. So I just set out some stuff. Yeah, 
Yeah, me too, man, me too. October, I'll do another Castlevania shrine, you guys. We'll do one more hit for the team. I'm gonna play the original Haunted Castle and then we're gonna go right into the remake. I wish they would come out with an alien bundle. Uh, how hard would it be for them to make a light plastic pulse rifle that's for the VR? I mean, that would be sick. That would be really cool, man. Use the right trigger. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you. Because, yeah, I was always wondering that. I'm good, dude. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of Alien games because I saw Alien Romulus, and I really enjoyed it. So, a lot of good Alien games. And I didn't play the best one, which is Alien Isolation, in my opinion. But that is not a short game. You're looking at, on average, I believe, 19, 19 hours, did they say? Yeah, I'm always on late. That's that's on multiple reasons why I do it, man. I don't like to game while my kids are upstairs and while I'm, you know, I want to see them. Spend time with them. Not only that, but I don't want kids in the stream. <laughs> Ready? Aliens infestation. Yes. Which one is infestation? Is that the? I wish I could stream that, dude. How would I stream it? Yo, oh, yeah, you said you wish, yeah. Yes. There's a lot of alien games out there now. I'm just, I try to remember all the different names, dude. Like, we were just talking about, uh, that Alien vs. Predator, uh, it's on the original Xbox, and it's, it's just like SoulCom, or not SoulCom, uh, StarCraft. So I'm really stoked to play this for you guys because they actually did a really good job on the remake. I like it. Um, the original Haunted Castle, as much as I love Castlevania and I like the graphics and I love the characters, the, I did not like the game when I was little. Not much right now. Uh, it's just like, it's way too difficult, man. It is. Nice, dude. That's a great one. It, uh, even better on the 3DS, in my opinion. You can tell that it was made for 3D. But anyway, I'm excited. I've always been a Castlevania fan, and I can't believe that they launched this under everybody's noses. So, it's Konami. Um, I'm still not holding my breath, but you can officially call this a brand new Castlevania game. Officially, by Konami. So, yeah, I'm pumped. I'm super excited. They didn't say shit. <laughs> no one said shit about it. I mean, it was obvious. Now we gotta watch for the vinyls, you guys. Because I just got all three vinyls for the Game Boy Advance ones. Now they're gonna do the DS one ones. Uh, 
They're still missing uh, some key Castlevanias on the Switch, but for the most part, I have all of them. They're missing the Requiem, which has Rondo of Blood, Symphony of the Night on Switch. They're, always, they're also missing Mirror of Fate on the 3DS, and they're also missing Castlevania Adventures Rebirth, which was only available on the Wii, and now it's gone. So if you get it, it would have to be emulated. But that's a really good one, too. What's up, Conan? Oh, you're just in time, dude. You're just in time. Um, let's do this. I'll get it set up in a sec. we have audio man uh, let me know if we have audio in the game and myself and we'll get going uh, and I need a controller there we go turn my switch back on I'll show you all the Castlevania games that I have on here quick but they're missing those key three for sure if not more uh, yeah, there's the advanced ones, which was three vinyls on the soundtrack. Then you have this, one, two, three, and four, and Bloodlines, and the Game Boy ones. And then this one just dropped under everyone's noses, so I have hope for um, Lords of Shadow. Um, what's the one on uh, PlayStation 2? Lament of Innocence, is it? And then there's the one on Xbox 2, uh, Curse of Darkness. I, I bet that'll be an, another collection, hopefully. But yeah, how's the audio? Is it good? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. BA start. I'm going to show you a little bit of the original Haunted Castle, just so you can appreciate the remake that much more. I was shocked when I saw that it dropped, like, before I even saw that this was a thing. All three of those games are incredible. Not only that, dude, but you can play every region. You have all the music. We have a gallery. It's it's sick. Look at the artwork for this. I have that poster right there. Still. I have that one too on the other side of it. Yeah, you can uh, do all kinds of stuff. You can rewind your game, which I'm not a big fan of, but whatever. 
but there's a lot of different options. I can't remember the year, 1988, okay, yeah. So here's the thing, if you die in this game, usually, normally you can only have three credits and you, you would get an automatic game over, that's what makes it so hard. Uh, Sly Stone right there, Silver Raven, getting married, and here comes Dracul, he's like, each woman, <laughs> and that guy's like, ugh. Alright, here we go, oh my god, this game is absurd, I would not want to own this arcade, like I said. It's too brutal. I remember plugging quarters into this. had this game on my Switch, actually. It's Haunted Castle. Did you know about the hidden game in this, Winchester? Do you know what the hidden game is? It's not this. Alright, so um, I'm gonna play it next. I'm gonna be shocked, dude. You know I'm not a big fan of this game. I put so many quarters in that side. I just wanted to show you, uh, it. <laughs> These are like deadites that come out. Look at the fog. You can see the castle back there. It's kind of cool. Man, this game. We'll save our game right there, and we'll come back to it some other time. Look at this Winchester, and it's good. It's a remake of Haunted Castle, dude. Look at this. We have a brand new Castlevania game. Officially from Konami. Right here. And no one's talking about it. They don't even have this in the Twitch section yet. This is a great, great, great remake. Yeah. 
it's way better, dude. This is way better. Look at this. Dude, you have no idea how much I love this right now. It reminds me of Castlevania Adventures Reader, it does. Pretty cool. Uh, maybe, yeah, we'll probably get it, yeah. I like the mountains in the background too. They sort of been really sick on the 3DS. actually made it really good. Like, this is really, really good. Like, dude, this is actually really good. I wish the arcade was like this. I can't wait to see what they did with Dracula. Now they have dead eggs on their left. Some of them. Hello. 
looks cool, man. That castle and the moon. Really cool. Did you play this, Frank? You've been playing this all day.
Oh, bullshit. No, get out of here. What's up, man? We got a new Castlevania game under everybody's noses, dude. No one saw this coming. This is a remake of the original Haunted Castle game. And I'm hitting them with a shoestring. I haven't seen any of this though, this is all brand new to me. And nobody's talking about it, so they released the three DS Castlevania games, but no one's talking about this remaster of the original Haunted Castle, because it's really damn good. Wow. Hell yeah, here we go. And his shield shatters. Man. Oh, look at this chandelier, dude. Right on my head. Crying blood. I want to see it. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I called it. Yeah, dude. 
That's sick. Bloody tears. I don't know about that. That character looked like it didn't fit the rest of the game. That one right there with the <laughs> You're in the wrong Digimon game, dude. Oh shit. This is really cool, dude. This is what I was tired about. To check out. You can get this on Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch right now. I would pay that price just for this game alone. Oh, damn. I gotta watch those chandeliers, dude. I don't even remember I grabbed it right away. I think it was 24. But yeah, I like it a lot. It's a brand new Castlevania game. I've been waiting a long time for one, dude. Not brand new, but you know what I mean. Oh, awesome remake. I didn't know I could fall. I'm so dead. I didn't know you could drop down the staircase right there. Halfway down. You're gonna make us start that level over right there. No, I think you can jump right to it actually. I do need a better wood. You probably gotta hit him right in the heart too. With the gem. Careful.
That's pretty cool. of the original Double Dragon Arcade, but it's not good really. I think it looks terrible. Yeah, it does. Yep. What's up, JB? It's good to see ya. Yeah, you have to land it perfectly. That tip. Just the tip. Oh. It plays a lot like Castlevania Rebirth, uh, Castlevania Adventures Rebirth. saw this coming. It just became available yesterday, just boom. And when I'm done with this, I'm gonna go to uh, either Portrait of Ruin or Order of Asclatia, whatever you guys prefer. Order is more realistic and harder. And Portrait of Ruin is an anime, but it's amazing. It's such a good Castlevania. And in that one, you have to fight Death and Dracula at the same time. Look at that Bone Dragon. Yeah, it's always good to have baby in the streams. Now we gotta watch for the, the vinyls, right? Because they did the... They did the Game Boy Advance ones, and I got them, so now we gotta watch for these DS ones. So, give me a heads up if anybody sees that they're making them. I'll keep an eye out too. Excuse me. Damn.
can only get it for a short time though. Watching my timer that close. Six minutes, so you think that would be plenty. Yeah, the timer's brutal. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this is my first run on this, dude. I like it a lot. Oh, we're fighting the man himself, Frankenstein's creature. He's gonna be massive in this, too. He is in the original. I love how they did the bat like that, too. Look at the giant doors. Look at him working on the body. 
many Frankenstein pieces. This guy's gonna shoot out a dead height. Uh, oh my god, he was weird. Did you see his pattern? He was like. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm right here. I should be. Yeah, this isn't too bad. I need a better whip. This is a shoestring. Look at this shoestring. Me. 
here? It looks like it. Yep, it is. Oh, he is big. Oh, that's bullshit. Stop him from running towards me. from charging after you. Or maybe you can jump on the table and over him, but I highly doubt it. Pudding Maker 2025. Oh yeah. Oh, we're on the final level, you guys. This is a brand new Castlevania game. This is a remake of Haunted Castle. This just dropped yesterday. And no one's talking about it. Not many. Here's the batch on the bridge, man. Wasting time. The timer's brutal on this game. What? He was still there. Oops. for that old chandelier trick.
He's got my woman, dude. See that? Not gonna lie. on this for a while. Diving in. to dodge all this. laughing at us. Now it's personal. Thank <laughs> you. 
she has patterns, but you gotta do them like literally split. Thank you. Whew. <laughs> Whoa. Now we can go be married in peace. And build a cabin on the lake. Yeah, that was cool, man. And what's cool is nobody's talking about this hidden gem in this, uh, this re-release of all the DS games, dude. It's crazy. Now we're gonna start a really cool game. I'm gonna let you guys vote though. Do you want Order of Asclasia? Oh, we'll just go to them. We'll just go to them and I'll show you. Asclasia, Portrait of Ruin, or Dawn of Sorrow. Which one do you guys want to see? They're all good. I'll give you a little look at each one. So no one has a preference which one?
This one. None of these games are uh, short. I have all of them saved on my 3DS. Good time for another fight. Returning to life time and again since the ancient Middle Ages, the evil Lord Dracula get, has driven it. people like to not, terror. Like vampires too, but Each time Dracula returned from the dead, the Belmont clan like fought him in the you shadows, fight, wielding uh, the holy Belmont whip. Through their efforts, humanity avoided the darkness, securing prosperity. But early in the 19th century, having lost their ability to resist the darkness, those in positions of power at the time began to search for new ways to counter Dracula. Our organization, Ecclesia, was born then as one of those countermeasures. Many organizations were established with the same goal, and day after day, they conducted their studies diligently. But each was dissolved when they failed to produce satisfactory results. But that was when Barlow, the leader of Ecclesia, finally made a surprising breakthrough that could stand up against Dracula. I do, I love the art style in this game. Um, it's different, it's more serious. They're, they actually have a leather face enemy in this one. Straight up leather face with a chainsaw and everything, wearing somebody's face. Yeah, probably. I love Donkey Kong Country, man. 
love that game. Hopefully they do a remix of the soundtrack too. Played Killing Floor? I don't remember. Very, even just for the, uh, even just for the little uh, cartridge. Especially have if you have the completed box, I do, and they're in nice shape too. I got the guide for this game right there. I'm gonna use it. Yeah, they didn't clean up the visuals at all. I mean, it looks it looked better on the DS, smaller obviously because it's very pixelated on the big screen. Looks great when it's small though. get this Conan? It's pretty sick, dude. All these these Castlevania games will last you a while. It's too late.
when I first played this game, I killed every single enemy until they dropped their glyph, and that was not easy to do, and it took forever. Some of them are really rare.
There we go. It's a map.
village Conan took off man do you see his comment right above where it says yeah I'll get it it says well I'm heading out later and that was so I can only have up to 80 hearts let's change that Saved me. in this village yet, you have to go rescue them all. Um, let's start a different game. I just saved it. I'm gonna 
just start uh, Portrait of Ruin. That's a really cool game. I want to show you the beginning at least. They're all really good. Remember on mine I drew something cool, but it's looking it's gonna be a little bit harder. Jonathan Morris, he is not a Belmont. Yeah! 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 
What do you like more?
I have these two started. Um, they're all really good games, every one of them. And I really like that revisiting of the castle. Revisit.
yeah, have a good one, everybody, and uh, I'll be around in between work. My next day off is uh, Sunday and Monday. I gotta work four days straight, but I'll be around. Thanks for watching. I don't know if there's anybody to raid or not. Let me check. Okay. 